Now, before we get into the video, let me just give a quick shout out to our video sponsor today, which is Deving.net. Deving offer the best farming and boosting solutions for division and many other games. Now, it might be that you want the Hunter Masks or you want the Ravenous or you just want to get all of those raids done. Go ahead and check these guys out at Deving.net. The link will be in the description below and use code EK1 to get yourself some money off. What's up guys, this is EK1 here and today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Division 2 and today's update that was done via Trick Dempsey, expert game designer. <laughs> now they are revamping specializations. Now in the last few years we've dedicated a lot of time to researching the builds used by players in both PvE and PvP content and we've concluded that specializations are today not reaching their full potential yet our objective with specializations is to empower players to create agents who match their playstyle preferences with our next update specializations will greatly improve both build diversity and player choice to do this we will be splitting up specialization progress into a linear level and specialization tree now i will say that you know they've got a point with this now and i don't agree with a lot of what they do but any change is good they they do need to do this for you know for build diversity and to adapt your play style you know you you want your specialization to suit your style of play so having like extra ammo on uh, armor on kill is no good if you just want to if you're a tank build anyway you know so to be able to do this is pretty good i'm, I'm excited to see what else is said in this um in, in this update today so the linear level progression in the current design much of the existing specialization tree is mandatory agents can spend their points into improving signature weapon damage and ammo acquisition also requiring to manually add them and remove individual elements whenever you decide to try out a new weapon to better fit with our ambition to create a more bespoke experience for all specializations these elements will be moving into a strictly linear level system. This is where you'll unlock your skill variants, specialization sidearm and upgrades, and signature weapon power. All the this is where the power increase comes from perks will be moved here once they've been reviewed and tuned. Once you unlock these benefits, they will remain permanently on your character as long as they have that specialization active. This linear level progression will also reward you with specialization points to spend in the new specialization tree. So now the specialization tree. So thanks to the addition of the linear progress system, uh, we will be entirely reviewing the specialization tree to provide a stronger focus on customization and choice to the players. Importantly, there will not be enough specialization points to purchase every perk on the tree. Instead, you will need to choose what perks best fit your playstyle. The specialization tree focuses on three elements signature weapons armor kits and grenades for grenades and armor kits we want to provide alternate uses for these consumables which may be triggered instantly in addition to their standard behavior the trees permit agents to pick whether their armor kits and grenades have these alternate quick uses and invest additional specialization points to improve them so let's just stop here let's talk about this this is going to be huge for pvp now we've been asking for this for a long time like division one was instant armor kit or instant med kit in division one but instant grenade instant armor kits you know it, it can't be a bad idea you know we, we do need it i don't know how many points we're gonna have to spec in and what we're gonna miss out on but that's something that we're gonna have to look at once the game comes out and the update comes out even so for me it's a good thing for now and let's carry on so for the signature weapons we want to allow players to customize their behavior and to invest specialization points to increase the impact those choices might have this would be a meaningless addition without the ability to make named enemies vulnerable to signature weapon damage so we are implementing a system to make that possible additionally we want the whole specialization tree invalid to be valid in all game modes and this means that we are reintroducing the signature weapons to pvp there's a lot of issues with that, but we'll talk about that in a second. We want all players to enjoy benefit from these new balancing efforts and improved experience. To avoid seeing signature weapons become the ultimate ambush tools, agents will be treated the same way as named enemies when it comes to signature weapon damage. This will require significant balancing and tuning, so we will be watching build and player performance closely. Now, straight off the bat, they're already setting themselves up for 
criticism with that because the fact that they're saying they're going to be watching closely right means that they don't actually know how to balance it in my opinion anyway so it's going to be broken for a while while they bring it out so they're going to release it it's going to be broken then they're going to look at it and then they're going to nerf the crap out of it and probably take them back out again or you know really just run them into the ground so nobody really uses them that's what it sounds like to me i don't know let me know in the comment section below if you think that sounds the same so now the power of choice while a specialization and its signature weapons are tied that would be no longer true for their mods skill variants and sidearms anymore by sufficiently leveling up specialization you will unlock these formerly specialization restricted specific items for use by other specializations want to use artificial hive with the mortar turret while wielding the survivalist d50 you'll be able to do just that as you might guess these changes among other exciting improvements to come with our next update are quite complex topic to handle and we want to take the time to deliver the best experience for you all blah -de blah good hunting trick dempsey now for me it sounds good right like it's, it can't be a bad thing that they're doing these changes of course you know let's any change is good change right now in this game i am a little bit wary about the whole pvp situation how that's going to go with the um specialization weapons and if they are going to be overpowered and they're just going to overrun the, the dz i don't know we'll see i don't really play the dz that much enough to really be bothered about it but you know with instant med kits or instant armor kits you know I, i'm definitely going to probably go into the dz a lot more because it's a lot easier to have a good old fight or a good you know a good tear up in there with a group or even solo so it's definitely going to open up pvp for a lot of people i want to know your thoughts on these changes let me know in the comment section below hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time you upload a content take care everyone stay safe and i'll see you on the division two soon